Are you considering becoming an IT pro, but you're not really sure which career path you want to take? You don't know. Some people are saying network engineers. Some people are saying cloud. Other people are saying cybersecurity. Or maybe you're a network engineer like I was over a year ago, and you're just curious about all the hype behind cybersecurity, and you want to know what it would look like to make that transition. Well, hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to answer all of those questions and more. I'm gonna be sharing my journey of over a year in cybersecurity of everything that I learned. And I just wanna share some of the things that I learned to hopefully help you make your decision. I'm gonna be going over things like the level of difficulty between cybersecurity versus network engineering. Of course, the earning potential, like the money aspect of the thing and also just a job role overview just give you a brief overview of what the job roles are so you can make a more informed decision as you think about whether you or not it sounds like something that you would want to do so i could give you things like what you could expect from these different job roles in these different career paths also Make sure that you do stick around and watch the whole video because I'm going to be dropping one of the facts that I learned about cybersecurity that I found really surprising that probably will help you make that decision even quicker. But as always, before we get started, let me go ahead and shout out all the new subscribers. I see that the channel is growing. I am super grateful for the support. If you're not subscribed and you're feeling this content, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that i'm dropping i'm dropping weekly content on you about it related information just like this that hopefully will help you grow or improve your life some way all right to kick this one off we're going to talk about the job roles between cybersecurity versus network engineering if you didn't catch my network engineering versus network admin video that episode i went in deep about the differences between the two job roles so if you want a more in-depth overview about it definitely check out that video if not i'm just giving a brief overview of the two different career paths and we'll start off with cybersecurity. so in cybersecurity, for that kind of career path you can be expected to be responsible for securing the whole entire infrastructure. That's your primary goal. Yes, you can go on Indeed and the description is gonna have a whole bunch of different tasks and duties and responsibilities for cybersecurity professionals. But overall, your goal and what you're saying to this employer is that you can secure a whole IT infrastructure. And what do I mean by that? Every connected component that goes from every embedded system all the way up to servers. You're saying that you know how to secure both the hardware and the software of everything, as well as you understand the IT security co concepts that surround that as well. Your knowledge is really standardized and you're not really specific about anything. It's just really general overview of, again, the IT security concepts. That's what you're bringing to the table as a cyber cybersecurity pro. That's what you're bringing to the table. And that's what you're letting these employers know. And that's what you can expect to be doing. And again, it's the whole IT infrastructure. If it touches that IT infrastructure, you're going to be responsible from it getting hacked or attacked. You're trying to just minimize that attack surface. You, those are all these different kind of security things that you're trying to do and you're just trying to secure the IT infrastructure as a whole. You're trying to look at it as a system and just secure that whole entire system from being attacked or being hacked. Now, as a network engineer, your primary goal or your focus is gonna be on designing, implementing, and maintaining the entire network infrastructure. So this is gonna be more of a specialized knowledge. And again, the only way that you can have specialized knowledge, like I mentioned in my previous video last week, was that you're going to have to spend obsessive amounts of time in a specific domain. That's the only way that you're going to get specific knowledge. So if you want to go down a network engineering career path, 
That's one of the key things that you're gonna have to do is get specialized knowledge. And that is gonna require you to spend obsessive amounts of time. So if that's something that you're ready to do, then by all means, definitely take that path. But if you just wanna take a more laid back approach to getting into IT, cybersecurity, that's gonna give you just, you just have a general overview of IT security concepts. Now network engineering, you're gonna know how to secure networking equipment and the network components of that infrastructure. That's gonna be your routers, your firewalls, your switches. You're gonna know how to secure both the hardware and the software. That's what one of your requirements of a network engineer is gonna be when you're supporting that network infrastructure. But again, zoomed out, your main goal, your main objective, design, implement, and maintain a network infrastructure for some kind of organization Usually, typically, this is at an enterprise level. Moving on, let's talk about the level of difficulty between cybersecurity versus network engineering. Let's start this one off again with cybersecurity. The level of difficulty for any IT beginner is gonna be relatively easy because you're only required to have a broad understanding and knowledge of these IT security concepts and you just have to have fundamental skills in all of this kind of stuff which leads me to the one fact that i just wanted to drop on y'all that i didn't know about cybersecurity, and that is that cybersecurity, one of the fundamental skills of it is networking so you're gonna have to learn networking regardless if you're gonna go in down networking of course or if you go into cybersecurity. so you might as well learn both of these they go one and one and i just found that super surprising that naturally somebody that's in networking is going to do cybersecurity and vice versa so you might as well just get used to it now if you take a look at the flip side on the networking side that's going to be harder you're going to be required to understand not broad stuff complex in-depth networking concepts and topics and you're going to have to understand this at an in-depth level but it's only going to be specific again with that specialized knowledge for the entire network infrastructure you're only going to require be required to know that you're only going to be required to know that kind of knowledge but again it's so in-depth and it's so much so for a beginner you just get overwhelmed that's what i hear a lot with people that are starting out in networking as a beginner you're hit with a lot whereas cybersecurity is just going to get you the networking skill fundamentally to where you know the fundamentals of it you don't know it in depth that way when you do do go sit down and start learning it in depth you already have some kind of foundation all right we're at the last thing last but not least is going to be let's talk about the money hopefully everything is making sense for you guys and we're just going to talk about the earning potential between both of them and I'll tell you right now, in my experience, I didn't see a difference between cybersecurity as far as salaries go and everything like that. Nothing really, no major jumps or network engineering. It's pretty much the same. From them into network engineering, I definitely seen that jump to six figures, right? But it's really lateral movement, six figures. You're gonna make six figures in cybersecurity if you stick with it for five to 10 years or three to five years or whatever or one to two years if you're good. You're gonna see those six figures, right? But it's not gonna be no major jump. You're not gonna make millions of dollars or anything like that. Now the earning potential, I also say that that's the same. And the reason being is because you can go ahead and get them certifications and you can cert up. So if you get a CCMP, more earning potential for you there. Uh, CISSP, all these different kinds of security, all these different kinds of stuff for pen testing, all different kinds of stuff for security. If you get more specialized knowledge, you are going to level up, you're going to get more money. So the earning potential is there for both of them. You can't go wrong if finances is what you're on the fence about or you're confused whether you should take. You're going to get six figures any one of these career paths. It's really what do you want to focus on at the end of the day, specifically network infrastructure or the IT infrastructure as a whole? All right, that pretty much does it. Uh, to sum this one up, everyone, if you're looking to get into IT and you're a beginner, cybersecurity is going to be easy. That's just the easiest way, the easiest path. 
just due to the demand of cybersecurity professionals in the marketplace. And then you combine that with the learning curve being very broad. It's not gonna be no steep learning curve versus network engineering where it is gonna be a very steep learning curve right there that just shows you that it's just going to be easier for a beginner to get into it if they went down that cybersecurity path hopefully that helps you with your decision hopefully i bought some clarity if i did if you enjoyed the video thumbs up the video share this video and subscribe so you don't miss next week's video as well and definitely just holla at me in the future peace